Hey guys, Bisu here. Uh, today we are going to talk about descriptive statistics and I'm going to show you how to generate descriptive statistics using Excel. So before uh, moving into the Excel, I'm going to quickly talk about what descriptive statistics basically are and then I'll so share you my screen and then I'll show you how to do that in Excel. So uh, what is descriptive statistics? Uh, so in simple terms, uh, descriptive statistics are the statistics that describe basic feature of the data. So remember this word, basic. So basic feature of the data, that means simple, uh, easily understandable features of the data. Uh, and what could those be? For example, average, right? Average or mean. So what is the average height of uh, classroom? What is the average income of a particular uh, city? Those are the basic features of the data and those are called descriptive statistics. And when we talk about descriptive statistics, we need to understand three things. So the first one is distribution of the data. Second one is central tendency. And third one is dispersion. And those three things are the descriptive statistics. So when you look at distribution, how can you see the distribution of data? You can see distribution of data using pie chart, something like this, or, or line graph. This is the x-axis and that is y-axis and or even bar graph, something like this. So using those techniques, you can see the distribution and you can easily generate pie chart, line graph or bar graph uh, in Excel. And the other, other one is central tendency. And what is the central tendency? Uh, that is mean, median and mode. So what is mean? Mean is average. Uh, so let's say there are five. Uh, students in the classroom uh, with different height. What is the mean height? That's the average height of the students in that classroom. And what is median? Median is a value which is in the center, center, central value of any data set. And mode is a value which gets repeated most. So those three things, if you have taken statistics class, you, you will easily understand what those means, what those uh, three things means. And then dispersion. So what is dispersion? Dispersion is basically range, uh, then standard deviation, and then variance. So range is uh, the um, distance or uh, value between highest and lowest, uh, lowest in our data set. Standard deviation and variance means how dispersed is your data from the central value. How um, how far are the different each of the data points from the central point and all this can be calculated using Excel. So this is a basic um, uh, explanation of descriptive statistics and these things can be easily done using Excel. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to share you my screen and then I'm going to show you how to generate distribution, how to generate central tendency and how to generate dispersion uh, using uh, a random imaginary data set. So let's go to my screen. All right, this is the data set we are gonna use to show you how we can generate descriptive statistics using Excel. So here you can see name, income, sex, age, and weight. Let's just select one variable for now, uh, sex, uh, to generate uh, distribution, some of the distribution. So the first one, as I mentioned, is distribution. So in distribution, you can actually see pie chart, you can see bar graph, you can also see line graph, and you can see histogram. So let's do pie chart for now. So as you can see here, there are seven female and eight males. So what we can do is uh, let's write male, there are eight and female there are seven 
So if you select those data and if you click insert and then there is a little pie chart icon. So click that and click this part. Uh, here you can't see um, the number. So what you can do is you can go to this one or even this one. So it is showing 53% and 47% and blue is male and um, orange is female. And you can edit chart title distribution by sex. So this is a simple way of um, finding distribution using Excel. And this is also a descriptive statistics because it is showing the frequency of female and male in that particular population. And the next one you can do is bar graph. Um, so again, use the same data. So select the data, go to insert, and then you can see the bar graph icon here. Click that and click this part. Yeah. And then you can easily see uh, the number of male and female in that uh, in that data set. Here it is starting from 6.4 to 8.2. So to make it clean, what you can do is double click that and maximum you can do 10 and minimum you can do zero. And then chart title is again distribution by six. So there are eight uh, male and seven females and you can easily generate bar graph. You can also do line graph. So for line graph, I'm going to show you different data set, which is in third set. So here there are temp uh, year annual uh, date from 2010 to 2020 and there are average temperature. So if you select that data and go to insert and click this, uh, this scatter diagram, scatter graph diagram icon, then click there and click this part. Then you can see the year on the X axis and um, temperature on the Y axis. And what you can do is you can actually double click and then you can click this icon and you can click solid line uh, in all of them. Select here and then select that and then solid line. So you can actually see, and if you wanna edit, um, put um, description on the X and Y axis, what you can do is you can go to add chart element and go to axis titles, primary horizontal, which is year, and then again another uh, primary vertical, which is temperature. Temperature. So it's showing annual temperature in line graph. So we did those uh, few things uh, which are a part of distribution. Now the second one is. Um, as I mentioned, central tendency. So let's do that in a, um, in a separate sheet. So I'm gonna collect, uh, copy this data set and go to another sheet and uh, paste here. So now we are calculating central tendency. Actually we can do central tendency and this person together uh, using the data analysis feature of the spreadsheet. So for that we need to go to data and we need to click data analysis. So in some of your spreadsheet, this section may not uh, appear here. Uh, to make this section appear here, what you need to do is you need to go to file, you need to go to options and then click add-ins and then uh, make these three things ac uh, active. So if they are not active if they are in an inactive section these uh, three things then they will not pop up in this particular area so if you click here manage excel add-ins and go here you can see they are they are checked in if they are not checked in like that then they are they disappear so as you can see here so let's uh, let's uh, check in those three things again go to add-ins and then click go and then uh, check in, check in, check in these three things and then click OK. And then you can easily see here. 
So now you can calculate those two things together. So what you can do here in central tendency, you can calculate mean, you can calculate median, you can calculate mode. And in this person, what you can do, you can calculate range, you can calculate uh, standard deviation and you can calculate variance. So now what we do is let's click data analysis and then let's click descriptive statistics here and click OK. And then what is our input range? Um, so let's use income data set. You can even use age or weight or whatever data you want to use. For now, I'm using this income data set um, to uh, calculate uh, central tendency and dispersion and uh, click labels in the first row. That means uh, it's not going to account, uh, it's not going to use this income word in this uh, cell. And then uh, you can use uh, output range of where you want to see your results. So click here and then let's select this part. Then the, all the result will be displayed here. And then um, you can click summary statistics and you can click confidence level of 95% and click OK. So now you can easily see all those data set mean, um, which is 94,000, median, which is 88,500 and mode. It says not applicable because uh, I don't think there is any value which is repeated twice as uh, the definition of mode is the value which is repeated most. That's why it is showing not applicable because all of the uh, data set are, are repeated only once. But if you repeat uh, this data set twice, let's say, let's uh, replace that 45,000 with 100,000. And then um, I replaced uh, these three value, these two value with 100,000. And let's see whether the result will be different. Let's delete that. And then let's again click data analysis and then click OK. And then uh, again, same thing and then click OK. Yeah. Now, as you can see here, previously mode was not applicable, not available, but now mode is 100,000. And you can also see there is a change in mean and median. So we calculated mean, which I'm going to highlight here. We calculated uh, median, we calculated mode. So those are a part of central tendency. Now dispersion, let's look at dispersion if it is here. So here you can see range, which is 62,000. So we also got um, the range. Um, I'm going to highlight here and what is the standard deviation here, which is this um, 17,858 and, and you also got sample variance, which is this value. So as you can see here, you are able to get central tendency and dispersion. Uh, I already showed you how to calculate how to generate distribution and uh, I also showed you how to generate central tendency and dispersion. So guys, uh, this is how you can generate descriptive statistics uh, using Excel. I hope you liked uh, this video and if you like our videos, uh, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel. I'll see you again in next video. Until then, watch to inspire and keep inspiring.